Hello everybody, this is One Fred Jones, and you're watching One Fred Jones Plays Wristcraft. Now today I want to start this episode by showing you guys the controls on the farm. I decided to use a pulse lengthener instead of a repeater timer, or a repeater clock type deal. And this is it right here. This design is Exumavoid's design. He plays on the Hermitcraft server, I believe, and it's pretty cool. So it works with the monostable circuit, which you see right here, and then you've got hoppers over here. So basically, the monostable circuit right here kicks his piston out for one tick, which will either reach out and grab this redstone block or push the redstone block out and leave it there. And then you've got your hoppers here. You've got This one's empty, and then the other one's got 12 items in it. And see, that that's what's really cool about this design is that it's adjustable. You can, depending on how many items you have in your hopper, will determine how long your pulse will be lengthened to. So, 12 is what we need to operate our farm up here. And so that's what we got in ours. And uh, basically what happens is when you press the button, that piston will reach out and grab that redstone block unlocking this hopper and when it unlocks that hopper the items start filtering into the other hopper and then once it gets completely empty this uh, comparator turns off allowing this torch to turn back on which will then activate our uh, monostable circuit again which will pull that redstone block or push that redstone block back out here I'll show you real quick reaches out, grabs the redstone block. Right now all the items are going from that hopper to that hopper and then it emptied. That comparator turned off which allowed our monostable circuit to kick again and the piston pushed that block back out. So what it means to us is we can use this to control our harvesting system. So if we press the button, watch this redstone right here that's how long our pistons are being retracted for that's how long the water is flowing of course right now I have all of our repeaters upstairs locked so the pistons aren't really doing anything so I'll have all this um, covered up you won't see it in our back room here of the shop but we'll have controls on the back wall so we'll have a button for harvesting like right here on a wall and then we'll have our switches I'll bring those out here and then uh, so what I've done is I've set up hoppers and chests. That one's got our potatoes in it, that one's got carrots in it, and this one has the wheat in it. So I'm going to get Mumkey Boy to help us out, and uh, when I get back with you guys, he should be in the call, and we'll finish checking this thing out. And then he's got a plan over at uh, his place. So we'll get into that in the next segment. Okay, guys, we're back. We got Monkey Boy helping us. This is sure a nice place in here. I know. So here's our farms up here. Um, like I said, we just got, they're half the size of the ones in my Let's Play. We've got uh, the potatoes, the carrots, and the wheat. Now Monkey Boy is going to push that button down there so we can watch it harvest. But first he has to flip all of those switches that will unlock these farms. So go ahead and flip those switches. Switches? On the wall. Oh, you... You mean these things that are called levers? Oh, I'm sorry. Levers. Please flip the oh. levers. <laughs> I call them switches. Too, Actually, but... flip flip one at a time and push that button. Oh, okay. Let me turn one So back. we can demonstrate the full power of this farm. Dox is always mad at me when I call a switch. So, All right. So the one on the very left. Okay, so all, our it. potatoes. Boom. Oh, look at that. Okay. And oh, that is some beautiful done. stuff right there. Okay, you done? You okay. Do the next one. Yeah, do the next one. Okay, that one's off. This one's on. Or do you want me to do two at once? You can do them the last two at the same time. Save us a little time. I just wanted to demonstrate the fact that they were independent from one another. All right, I got the right to lit up. Pushing the button now. Just like that. Okay, guys, so that's how that works. Um, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to plant all this stuff, and then we're going to go over to Monkey Boy's house, and we're going to show you what he's got worked out. It's the man. It's the man, one Fred Jones. Heard you needed some help over here. Oh, you bad man. Hey, we've got a little project over here where 
these guys, they're going to be selling all these horses, and they're going to be regulating everything. So, I heard they're selling horses based on their speed. Yeah, yeah. They're, they've got them classified as if, oh, you know what? This horse is this fast, so we're going to charge you this much. This horse can jump this high, so we're going to charge you this much. Huh. Well, who's who's going to decide how fast or how high they jump or how well, good of a horse the they are? That's the problem. Those guys are over there. They got this rigged up horse timer that they can make it say whatever they want it to say. So that when we go through there and say, okay, we've got a fast horse, it looks fast on the timer, which, hmm, can you believe that? Can you? <laughs> I, I see them uh, manipulating the system a little bit. That's what I see. So we, we regulate we regulate, that's what we're going to do, guys. So that's why over here, mm-hmm, right there with two lights on, old Warren Fred done some work. Hey, by the way, I think I owe you something. Right, right here. Oh. I think I owe you a little bit. What do you get? Uh, uh, you get one of them. Just one? Just one? one? Oh, two? You get one of them. Um, a spider eye. You get one of these. I thought we, I thought we then, Hey. Okay, I'll hey, give you hey. one of them. No, I thought we and, agreed on... No, what, uh, okay. All right. I all don't right. want. I don't want this though. You giving me the stuff. You're. You're. Um, uh oh. Oh. I. I was embarrassing gonna, hey, me a little bit. Is there a tag I can put on? It says trash can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's go check this thing out over here. Go show me what you did. And if you didn't do a good job, I want my diamonds back. We'll let the people decide whether or not I did a good job. I got hungry. Sorry. So this is a, just a horse timer, your typical horse timer. This one, although, does not use hoppers. It's a little more accurate because it does not use hoppers. Nice. nice. It does use a lot more redstone, but it is more accurate. Hmm. Hmm. See our 10-digit our display? Well, one, the two, the three, the four, the five, so on and so forth. Yeah. I'm on fire. You need some help? This boy is on fire. No, I'm gonna get some you got it. thrift shop. Uh, no thrift shop over there. Okay. okay. All right then. Okay, so we were saying again. Um, again, ten digit display. Mm -hmm. Now, if two lights are lit, that means that's a five point five. Ooh. You understand what I'm saying? Uh huh. So, so it what's kinda, fast? Fast would be a four. Hey, get out of here. Or four point five would be fast. Hmm. Hmm. Are you paying attention over here? Well, I'm trying to protect you while oh. you explain this to us. Well, you, you explaining this to your your people seeing this too, or no? No, you're doing it. Oh, so my people, your people have to go watch my video. No, no, no. I'm gonna get oh. views off of you talking now. Keep talking. <laughs> All right. Well, and basically the way it works is we just run a pulse through these line of repeaters, and then whenever you hit your last trip hook wire over here it locks the repeaters in place and wherever it locks it that's what your speed is oh okay so as it flows through you hit that last trip wire and it just stops it yeah it locks it Le okay. locks the signal right where it's at got it got it well go get your holes man show me we'll do a we'll do a couple runs i want to see one just for the overall view and then i want to see what it looks like uh as we see the redstone work all right, come on, Larry. Now Larry's not the fastest horse. I don't want anybody. Uh, Unpowder anybody? Might blow up your thing here. Don't, don't mind me. No. I got him. If you blow it up, it's another four Ooh. diamonds to fix it. What? Huh? Hmm. I'm gonna go mine and I'll be right back. Well, what Maybe do you what do you say about uh, taking a real quick nap to clear out these mobs? You know what? I'm going to go run over here to the beautiful Casa de Monkey Boy, as one Fred oh. Jones called it. Uh-oh. All right, we're back in the daytime. Come over here and run your horse. You watching it? I see you. I see you, and I see it. So I've seen it shut off. Ooh. You're a little slower that time, man. You're a six. What? Yep. That's a five point five. Nope, you're a six now. Hmm. Did you feed your horse? Um, I probably fed him too much. Yeah, Larry... there's a lot of server lag right now too. Yeah, that's one of the problems with this design. It it isn't really the best for SMP. I'm going through again. I'm getting a really long run at it though. I guess I thought you were gonna leave us. 
Ooh, six again. Okay, well, it's probably, this horse is probably a six, then. I'm just going to call it a six. So four is a fast horse, you're six. You're six. What does your horse do? I don't know. Once you get on him, I'm going to get me some thrift shop on him. Ooh, ow. He's got... He's running. <laughs> he's, a, he's on fire, so he's going over a tree. He thinks it's the sun, but he's got armor on. What an idiot. Oops. Okay, do I get any... No? Do I have my looting sword? Yeah, I got my looting three. All, All right. right. Dr. Mamba the third. Ooh, he's a six and a half or six and a half. Mm-hmm. Slow guy. Yeah. Alright, go through it again and I'm gonna just be do a close up on this redstone here. Don't run me over though. I'll do my best. Shut down, it's running, it's running, it's running, it's running through. And locked up right there. Ooh, that's fancy. Man, yeah, I almost just, feel like I a, owe you more. Quite a bit of lag here. It's not just here, though, it's at spawn, so it has nothing to do with this redstone. Oh, no. But that way we can keep those boys in check with this thing over there. So what we're going to do is... If this doesn't classify your whole speed, you come over here, and the, bo the brothers, the brothers will do what they gotta do to ensure that you get what you pay for. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the old heavy duty over there, HD, they better be watching themselves. They better be doing clean business, because I think we got some corruptness going on. Mm-hmm. We might just have to go find us some real fast horses. Mm. Hey, you know what's the best thing for business? Competition. Amen, brother. Yeah. Hey. Uh-huh. Mm. So they better do good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, I got 33 levels and a sword that I made from the diamonds that Monkey Boy paid me for building that horse timer. Let's enchant it with that enchantment right there. That's not bad. Knock back two, sharpness four. Other swords will wore out. All right, guys, we're back over here at the shop. I want to show you what I did. I put in some windows. Um, I thought about using iron bars, but I think the glass looks pretty good. Let me know what you think. Finished the floor, ceiling in here. I knocked this wall out, took it back a little bit further, put in a door. I want to do some more stuff with the walls. I think I want to use another block type. I don't know what yet. And then in the floor, I think we're going to put our lights. We'll probably put some redstone lamps like there and there and then spread them out, you know, every so many blocks and uh, set that up. And then back here, I did quite a bit of stuff. So this is our back room and these hoppers pull stuff down from the chest above. And, you know, it goes to this hopper, then it goes into that hopper, and then to our furnace where we can make potatoes, baked potatoes. So I'll probably have another hopper pull the potatoes out of there, go into another chest, something like that. And then here's our workstation for the other stuff. This will be like for making cookies. That one will. Um, we'll try to get cocoa beans and uh, wheat into this one. And then... This one, we'll probably just use this station for making uh, golden carrots. And then this station here will be for our, our melons and our pumpkins. They'll come down probably around here or so. There'll be a chest right here with a, a hopper into another chest. And then uh, could probably go ahead and throw down our half slabs for like our little work table. Let's get those. run these over here so that's pretty cool I wonder if we could just let's try this see how it looks real quick just put the half slabs on the top like an actual table 
Well, that's kind of cool. Maybe we'll do that instead. Okay, so that's that. Now I want to show you the redstone real quick. Um, here's the switches to control our farms. That one's for the potatoes, the carrots, and the, this one's for the wheat. And then there's our button. I'll show you how I did it back here. So here's our pulse lengthener. And there's our where our button comes in to operate the pulse lengthener. And of course this is where, this is the piston control here that goes up. It's just redstone uh, torches on top of redstone torches. And then it's the same thing, redstone torches on top of redstone torches for the, the locking mechanism as well. Uh, to control that we've got our three switch array. This is the back side of it of course. This line controls the wheat. This middle line controls the carrots and that line over there controls the potatoes. So I'll jump up over here and kind of show you. So it goes a redstone torch and then there's another redstone torch on top of that and here's our line for the locking mechanism. So it worked out pretty good. Uh, we're probably gonna have to knock this wall out some more to get our controls for our melons and our pumpkins and all that stuff figured out. Uh, most of it will be I don't know how many controls we're really going to have. I might put the cocoa beans on a switch to where to, or a button to harvest the, the cocoa beans. We might push a button right there or something and it'll harvest the, the cocoa beans. The melons and the pumpkins on the other hand, that'll be completely automatic. I'm going to set up a daylight sensor and every midday Pistons will extend and harvest our pumpkins and our melons. It, that cycle might be too soon. A lot of times on this server, these guys like to skip the night. And if we're doing a lot of skipping the night, uh, we may not get a whole lot of melons and pumpkins. But if that's the case, if I can't get enough melons and pumpkins that way, I'm going to I'll set up another timer, uh, a different style timer that'll do like every 30 minutes regardless of uh, day or night or if the chunks loaded uh, it, it will it'll only run when the chunk is loaded but it doesn't start over when the chunk is unloaded and reloaded and stuff like that so I'll show you guys that I'm gonna go ahead and go upstairs and start working on that and uh, I'll see you in a minute okay guys we're back and um, I've worked out our melons at our pumpkin farm over here. Now I put these pistons here. As you can see I set it up to where these things can only grow in front of a piston. And uh, it takes them a long time to grow like that. You limit their their spots that they can grow in and it takes a long time for them to grow. So that's really making me wonder about the day light center or day light sensor. I don't think it's gonna work. We're gonna try it anyways though see how well it works but yeah basically you've got those there we'll throw a, a switch on there pushes that off like that let's go and take that one off there I don't have any way to get to those pistons over there yet but oh, and we'll have the water source block I'm gonna move back to right here so do that Knocks the pumpkin off like so, and it like I said, it'll do that automatically. Uh, lag. Uh, lag. Man, the lag on this server. Give me my pumpkin. I want my pumpkin. All right, so we're gonna harvest these by hand because, like I said, I don't have any way to. Well, I guess I could have just. No, I couldn't even have done that. So that's the setup we're going to have up here. Now, let's go downstairs. Oh, finally, you gave me my pumpkin. Thank you very much. So we'll go over here, go down here, and I'll show you what we've got in our back room and how we're going to do this. We're going to power those pistons from below. But I did notice while uh, we were up there, we can harvest all of these. Cool. So those are harvesting. 
Should see some stuff coming through here in a second. Potatoes. And then this one should have carrots running through it, and it does. And this one should have, well, seeds and wheat. Cool. So, all right, so up here, if you look straight up, there's our, our piston right there. There's a piston right there, and there's a piston right there. We're going to power these things from below. And I'm actually going to put in probably another piston there and another piston up here, too. But uh, if we end up doing a clock, we'll do the clock down here. And every so often, those pistons will just extend automatically, pushing everything into that water stream and then forcing it um, into a chest. will come out probably right about here, I think, or, yeah, probably here. Um, we'll have a chest and a hopper just like we've got right there, but it'll be right here. So that's where we're at on our shop. Probably one more episode and we'll be done with it. But uh, I want to thank you guys for watching, and have a good day.